Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel and uh, you know what I'm going to say, uh, if you're new to the channel, well, thank you for uh, for checking it out and uh, fellow fellow Ghostbusters, <laughs> fellow Ghostbuster fans out there, uh, yeah, this is um, this is quite the get up, huh? I got the, uh, I went the cheap route, I got the, the Spirit uh, Halloween uh proton pack because i don't have hasbro money this is a cheap uh this is a cheap operation you guys know that and there's a no frills uh dude on the couch so my budget's very low <laughs> so <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> Jeez. yeah sounds like a toilet flushing cool I probably won't wear this during this whole video. Obviously, I'm, up, I'm about to take it off. I'm going to pull the old Mr. Rogers here, take off the uh, the sweater, as it were. Um, this thing is uh, not comfortable to sit in. I just thought it'd be funny to maybe have it on in the video for a second. Um, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, for the price, it's got a pretty cool looking setup. I heard you can mod these out to make them look like the uh, the real thing. But I haven't looked into that either, so because we don't have time for that right now. Because today we're talking about Ghostbuster games, and probably not in a a great chronological order like the Robocop. If you watched a Robocop video I did recently, just gonna kind of start as far back as I can with what I have. Um, so Amiga, Amstrad, uh, C64, all those should be in there. I don't have the ZX Spectrum one, so. If you're going to light up the comments, uh, because I didn't have it for Robocop either. I just, man, I just can't get it to work is what it really is. A lot of, uh, a lot of this I rely on uh, for emulation for some of them, just because it's easier when you're just, you know, recording game after game after game. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not going to rank these. Uh, please let me know in the comments what your favorite Ghostbusters game is, because I'll talk Ghostbusters with you all day. It is my favorite movie. It is my favorite franchise. It is what I love to collect for the most in the game house. And before we get started on the game footage itself, uh, of course, I'll do like, if again, if you watch the Robocop video, I'm just going to kind of pan around to my collection, just kind of show you what I have. Uh, because even though I don't have Hasbro money for a good Proton Pack, the money that I do have, I did invest in other stuff and kind of spread it all out. So I have a, a pretty pretty big collection. In fact, it's the biggest collection in here. So, But yeah, I, again, appreciate you all watching. Uh, and we're going to check out some Ghostbuster goodness. And uh, again, let's, uh, let's dive in. And thank you, as always. <laughs> okay uh, as promised uh jumping right into my collection here uh, i've been collecting this for probably about seven years or so as you can see i'm obviously a very big ghostbusters fan which i know i've already stated um but yeah man i just it's ever since i was a kid i've just always loved this movie uh i even got in trouble in school once because we were uh, trying to be ghostbusters we uh, made little paper guns and our turn our backpacks into proton packs and yeah, that's that's how big a nerd I am. But I uh, love this movie, and it's stuck with me ever since. And really, really glad to have a lot of this stuff in my collection. Uh, like I said, too, I'll be discussing uh, a, big, a big handful of uh, Ghostbuster games, but not all of them, just enough to see uh, how they've evolved from the Atari 2600 on up. So uh, I will have a few that aren't in here, like the real Ghostbusters arcade and uh, the ZX Spectrum ones. And most of the versions I left out because a lot of them just look the same. So just like I said, I want to cover just enough to show you where it started from. And here we are with the Atari 2600. This one and the other ones I'll show here for the first Ghostbusters uh, from 1984 uh, that was originally made by uh, David Crane who the game was actually called Car Wars and it was about armed automobiles in the city but Activision with the movie coming out they bought this game and they turned it into Ghostbusters and David Crane uh, after having seen the movie was really happy with how this game turned out the only uh, thing that he said he would have changed was the uh, celebratory ending uh, I guess he would have changed the, the screen a little bit but uh, didn't I didn't get the controls down on this one. I got better as I played more and more Ghostbuster games. Uh, I clearly was still trying to figure out how to place the ghost trap and everything. But I enjoyed this one. Here's the Master System version, Sega Master System. You can see the colors here starting to get a little more uh, brighter. 
This one's really fun to play and this, this one is different between the 2600 and the NES version because they actually have a on foot shooting gallery level which uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, here I, you can see I got I was starting to get a little bit better with moving the um, the containment trap around. It was funny to see two two people carrying that thing because usually it's pretty small. <laughs> but and it takes us to Ghostbusters on the NES, which I think is one of the least liked versions. Uh, graphically, it was also poorer than the other versions, which I don't know why. Uh, Ghostbusters 2 also, I think, is right up there with being least liked on the NES. But yeah, look at the graphics here compared to what we just saw on the Master System. Yeesh. But at least I caught the ghosts. <laughs> Yeah, it's insane to me. That takes us to Ghostbusters for the Genesis. This one is one of my favorites. Uh, not my favorite, but one of. Like I, I do go back to this one quite a bit. There is now a newer one that was released by um, people in the homebrew community. And they you can find it at expos or um, trade places, uh, probably even online. But they actually finally added Winston and also, I believe, Tully. Uh, is in there as well but having Winston was key Winston deserved to be in this game from the get-go uh, he's an integral part of the Ghostbusters and as you can see with the newer movie coming out uh, next week um, he's now basically leading the Ghostbusters this is another reason why I made this video uh, in anticipation of the the movie next week I thought this would be a fun little you know collection to show off for people maybe to get in a spirit to play uh video games this weekend coming up or leading up to the movie this is one you should definitely play out of them the platformer uh the mechanics are great i like the big cartoon headed characters <laughs> yeah that will wrap it up for us for covering the original ghostbusters now we're heading into ghostbusters 2 starting with the atari 2600 uh at this point now you are an army paratrooper heading down into the sewer <laughs> it was fun you can see though um some other versions i'm going to show you here are all similar as far as everything going down into a tunnel to lead down into the sewers and you can see graphically how, how they'll start improving throughout the different versions. This one was okay for me. I couldn't quite figure out the controls as far as the buttons. Maybe it was more so just because I was anxious to get to the bottom. I might have been hurrying a little bit. And the swinging, it's hard to get the timing. That's a hand. You, you can kind of tell that's a hand with that big finger right there. You'll see it more clear though in the other versions. But you don't want that rope to snap because there you go. And this happened to me in probably almost all the versions I played. I love this one. I love what the Amstrad did here with this for Ghostbusters 2 here. They, uh, you're, you start off in the Statue of Liberty and you know, you're just cruising down the street and you're shooting all the bad, bad ghosts as you're cruising in Lady Liberty. The only thing missing from this is, uh, your love, uh, keeping me higher. The song from the movie, if that was playing right now, that'd be perfect. <laughs> We don't want that copyright strike, so uh, just hum along. <laughs> yeah, the controls were interesting, though. Obviously, uh, Lady Liberty here is not is not going very fast, and I did have to remember to drop the uh, fire down as well as just going across the screen because you can see here there's some some low low intruders taking out my knees. Here is the Ghostbusters 2 for the Amiga. Actually, I, I, I stand corrected. This is actually the, I think I went with the Atari ST version and then the Amiga. They both look so similar. I could honestly, it took me a minute to, to differentiate between the two. I believe the Amiga version, the music was better um, and the sound effects, but they both graphically look pretty dang close. And as you can see, <laughs> descending down into yet another tunnel. But now you can see here um, soon where the hand will grab the ghost. I was telling you about like from the Atari 2600, you can see graphically how far we've come from the 2600.
Yeah, I just can't get the timing down with these these levels like this. I some some of the ghosts I hit, some of them I went through them. I was thinking too that maybe these platforms here, like the gray beam sticking out. There's the hand I was telling you about. I was thinking that I would be able to land on one of these platforms if I just aimed as he's cutting it, because I couldn't shoot him. Ah, oh, so close to the end there too. And then this is the Amiga version. The only diff really difference I could spot is you can't, there's no stats at the bottom of the screen like there were for the Atari ST version I just showed. Got a little bit better at hitting a ghost here. And I de desperately try to get rid of this hand, but. <laughs> And I got him for once. <laughs> but not this one. This one I didn't get to in time. Now we'll plummet and fall right into the NES version. Look at that. Wow. Magic. Ghostbusters 2 on the NES. This one is loathed by many a many a human being. <laughs> it's so terrible. I tried to like this one. The hit detection is terrible. The sh shooting the green ooze. Um, you just kind of just launch it all up in the air and it all just falls back down. Everything just seemed to hit me. Uh, yeah. This one just sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're a fan of this one. I'm really sorry. I try not to hate on games, but sometimes you're just like, what were they what were they thinking? There's driving uh, in this one as well, too. Jeez. Yeah, then you got you get stuck in your own slime. Oh, it was just frustrating. Vigo. Ready to hit the town tonight. Look at him. Now this one I love. This one is Ghostbusters 2 for the Game Boy. And there was actually an NES version of this also that came out only in Japan. But we'll get to that next after we do we talk about this one. This one is fun because for me it's it's simple and sometimes simple is good. Simple works and it works in this right here. As you can see with Venkman and Winston here, uh, basically Venkman zaps the ghost and Winston comes in from behind and boom traps him and it's really simple to do It's a to stun him and then Winston hit the B and the B's right next to a so you just kind of like Smush your thumb over and it's very smooth how it works. Love this game. This is really fun and Really glad now that you can get the uh, Japan only NES version now in the States. Thanks to homebrew And here it is, new Ghostbusters 2, basically a colorized version of what we just played. Same mechanic, same go in, stun, ghost trap behind. You can find this game now, I believe you can buy it online, as well as expos, gaming conventions. It's just fun, these are just fun games. It was a shame that we didn't get it back in the day, but now it's great. You can get it today, so. It's probably more Slimers than I think I would be used to in one level, but all right. Okay, this takes us to the real Ghostbusters from the Amstrad. Now again, I didn't throw in an arcade version. I just stuck to consoles and handhelds this time. And this one plays like the arcade. You have to go across, you know, different little platforms or planks to get to the different level. But this one obviously is graphically inferior to the arcade. 
Um, I don't know what's going on here. These are mummies, so presumably they're dead, but then you kill them again, and then they're ghosts again, so... Okay. <laughs> uh, the pea green background was, I don't know, just... was This wasn't the strongest effort. But I did want to show it to see, again, that this is how far we've come <laughs> in the Ghostbusters games. If you're looking at this one, you're probably thinking this looks very familiar to you, and you're trying to think right now, what game does this look like? Well, I'll tell you, it's based on Kemco's Crazy Castle, except you're Vankman. And weirdly enough, that this version was also released in Europe, but as Garfield Labyrinth, so you're Garfield, and then in Japan it was released as Mickey Mouse for Maho na Labyrinth. And you play as Mickey Mouse. So each version is different. Uh, basically, it plays just like Crazy Castle. Except you're, you know, Vankman from the real Ghostbusters in this version. I found it fun. I think I'm going to go back to this one. I, it took me a minute to figure out the, the puzzle element to it. Especially getting that little drawbridge down. Uh, but then I got stuck here in a little bit because I didn't quite use this uh, bomb properly. So I do definitely want to look into this one a little more, though. I had never heard of this game until I made this video. And that's the beauty of having your own YouTube channel is that, you know, you're trying to uh, help out the gaming community and, and, and keep the gaming community positive and, and just, you know, always, always moving, always, always going. So then, but the other part is that you get to play these games and, and games you never, you didn't know about. And then you're making videos about it on top of it. So it was really fun for me to get into these. <laughs> so I know, I know you're like, just shut up. <laughs> Yeah, I think. I don't think I put the bomb. Oh no, I see it was on the brick, so I thought that bomb was gonna get rid of the brick, but I don't know. I gotta explore this one some more. This is another interesting one. This is Extreme Ghostbusters for the Game Boy Color. This was only exclusive to Europe. Well, we never got it here uh, for the Game Boy Color anyways. It was intended to be made for all platforms, but I didn't I didn't see why it wasn't. Not bad graphically. It's weird. He's looks like he's got a bubble blower, like a bubble gun. I don't <laughs> it's definitely not what we're used to with uh, the Proton Pack, but you, uh, in this level, have to make your way to the top to clear the level, and I, I'm guessing you need to eliminate all the ghosts and apparitions in this level to clear it, but I couldn't find them all. I don't know if I just wasn't climbing up high enough. Uh, it was definitely frustrating trying to hit the different uh, ghosts, and as you can see, these bats and stuff. And then I also learned that you can hold down the... A button when you're uh, firing the proton pack and you can move it directionally here which I'll show you so there you go so you can you can do it that way and you can just go all the way around 360 and that actually helped out a lot now upgraded to the extreme Ghostbusters this is Ecto-1 for the Game Boy Advance now you can see here same almost cinematic but obviously way better looking this one was a pretty cool looking game I was actually excited to get into this one as well and like the other games of the past here, you do have a driving element. And I didn't show all of it because it would have taken forever. Uh, I'm trying to keep these videos as short as I can, especially when I'm making these like, check out all these games type videos. <laughs> uh, which they don't really do well, honestly, but I don't really, I don't care. I make these for me just because I like, I like seeing all these different games. And, you know, hopefully some other people will like them too and find a game they didn't know about. But you make your way through here, you want to hit the time bonuses to keep the time alive so that you can make it to the end of the level, which I did. And then you actually get into the platform part of it once you get to the where you're, the building you're going to. And look, it looks great. Colorful, just fun looking. Um, everything worked. You know, there wasn't anything that I found frustrating. The only part was right there. When you're shooting and trying to run at the same time, the screen shakes. And I don't know why it does that. But you'll see here in a little bit where if I just stop moving and hold it down 
and just keep a steady stream, the screen stays just fine. So weird, I don't know. But it, I mean, if that's my only complaint. Cool little checkpoint. So boogers from the Flonase commercial. This one was a cool one, I thought. I'm not sure how many people know of this one or like this one, but this is Sanctum of Slime, and I got this one on the Xbox 360. You can still currently get it before the Xbox uh, on the 360 store closes. Uh, you could probably also still get it on just regular Xbox Marketplace, uh, but it's $5. It's $4.99. This would probably be a lot more fun with friends, but obviously I went in it with the, uh, the bots here, but I enjoyed this one. You vary up your weapons depending on the color of the the apparitions or ghosts that are trying to get you. And the music had that nice somber feel to it. Like, definitely had a Ghostbusters feel to it. I thought the graphics were great. I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of like a little um, arcade shoe. Remind me of, like, the X-Men games or uh, the Ultimate Alliance games, kind of with the top-down. Everyone's got to, you know, fight in a different direction. But what made this one really cool for me uh, was there's a driving element to it where you're not driving, but you're actually in a vehicle. And I'll show that in a second. Also wanted to show off, they had really cool comic book stills in the game that you could read along while you're waiting for it, like here. And I, I thought that was really awesome because I love comic books. And here they're coming in with the Ecto, the 4x4, four-wheel drive. And really, I, I just thought it looked amazing. I like being in the back of the truck. Uh, you basically are shooting from the back of the vehicle. And then every now and then you have some stopping points where you, you've got to get out of the vehicle, secure the street, and then hop back into the vehicle. Yeah, look at this. this is a, so this is a $5 game. I mean, really, that's not a bad deal. I think for you, you know, for something that looks this looks pretty good to me, honestly. It played well. I had no problem with it. It's very similar to the next game I'll show you, which is Ghostbusters 2016. And I think a lot of people crapped on that one. And I'm not sure if it was just because they, they didn't like the way it was set up like this one, but... So yeah, you stop and then you get out. Time to get rid of some ghosts on the streets here. Yeah, so that's Sanctum of Slime. Okay, so that takes us into the Ghostbusters 2016 one, which again, looks very similar to what we just saw. I think graphically it looks a little bit better. It's This one was on the Xbox One. But again, you can see it has that Marvel Ultimate Alliance feel, you know, just a top down working with the other the people in the in the game. I I like this one. Again, a lot of people hated it and I don't maybe just cuz I'm a, I don't know, I'm kind of a simpleton though, so it doesn't take much to to entertain me or amuse me, so This was cool too. You can use like the PK unlock a whole bunch of stuff. See, you got all those little power-ups hitting you and everything, just like just like Ultimate Alliance. Alright, here we go. This, man, is the game. The mother of all games right here. To me, this is just the best Ghostbusters game ever made. This is Ghostbusters, the video game. They have now the remastered versions out, so obviously that'd be the one you want to go with. This one I'm just pulling off the Series S, just the older Xbox. But man, do I love this game. I am stuck. Uh, you already hear about that in the video, so I don't need to go on about it again. I'm hoping to one day get past that, though. And that's all I'll say about that right now. But graphically, this is amazing. Uh, I just picked the Sedgwick to start off just to show off um, the graphics in the game and everything. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this already, too. So this is nothing new for you, for a lot of you anyways. Um, but man, I love having this game. Definitely one of my favorites. Signify the hidden ghost. Greeting indicates an environmental paranormal anomaly. 
Blue means an active sound. Getting warmer. Tracking down that annoying little spud. Oh yeah, he's in there. And it takes us to the last one. This is Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. Uh, here's a little clip from the beginning of the new DLC. Um, I haven't played the newer stuff yet. I haven't really played this one in a while. This game was good. I, I expected more. Uh, graphically, I thought it was just a little too cartoony for me. Um, the missions get redundant playing the same seven areas same maps over and over again um, currently i don't have online enabled right now i just i stopped playing it online but it's good for what it is i i think that it's it's i don't hate it it's not a terrible game i just i just feel like if we're gonna make a new game you know in this day and age why not you know like we saw what they did with robocop i'd like to see something awesome like that with ghostbusters like why can't we be in the ecto one or you know with all these other they had driving in all the old games right but let's do it with newer technology but that's just me this is just, you know old man yelling at the cloud so <laughs> but yeah this is this is a like, i pick this one up every now and then and play a couple a couple rounds just for fun but Well, again, like I, I said here, you'll hear in a video, uh, if you've got a favorite one, favorite Ghostbusters game, or one that you're curious as to why I left out, or just, uh, just you know, let me know in the comments. If you're excited about seeing a movie, let me know in the comments if you're a fan. Um, or let me know if you hate, you know, maybe you hate the Ghostbusters, but then maybe you wouldn't watch this, right? I don't know. <laughs> I hate the Ghostbusters, but then you watch the video. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me know. Never, I'll never tire of the series. Skills, baby. All right. Well, there you go. That's the uh, that's the Ghostbusters uh, list of games that that I have that I could show. Uh, again, I'm probably missing a few, but probably not that many. And honestly, a lot of them look so similar that it would just kind of be redundant to have uh all all of them honestly just kind of this kind of just gives you a sense of you know how far ghostbusters has come you know as a as a video game uh, as a video game franchise but um i do uh i did go all the way up to the most current one spirits unleashed which i'm i actually was pretty disappointed in i i mean i do like it for what it is but I was expecting so much more, especially with today's technology. I was hoping maybe we could be in that gunner seat in the Ecto-1 or something. But I don't know. Maybe maybe with time we'll get something something similar to that. Um, but it is good, like I said, for what it is. It's fun for a, a quick pickup and play. Sometimes I'll play uh, online for a little bit with some people. But uh, it isn't my most... Uh, I wouldn't say it's the, the game I go to the most for Ghostbusters. Probably my favorite out of all of them would be the... Um, the movie one, the the lost movie is what a lot of people refer to it as the Ghostbusters uh, game, with the actual acting cast in it. That one's just amazing, and hopefully one day I'll finish it, as I get uh, a lot of grief from my friend Gene from Caps Off Gaming because he's like, dude, how have you not finished this game yet? I'm stuck, man. I'm stuck in the library. There's this giant creature 
and you got to like rip his mask off. And I, I get that far, but then after that, all hell breaks loose and my team sucks because they're all the, you know, the, the, the bots and I've lost every time. So I'm, I'm hoping one day, man, you know, like a log jam, when you get past that one, that one stage in a certain game, it just like everything just opens up. And then you like all of a sudden you're just knocking off levels, but um, that's definitely my favorite. Hopefully you didn't mind seeing my collection. I'm not, I don't like to show stuff off like I'm braggy or something. It's just I don't know. I just I love it, man. I love this sh if I can share it so people can see it and maybe it'll give you ideas of something that you could you could buy or find out there. You know, if you're if you're ever looking for collecting Ghostbuster stuff. Um, and yeah, and hopefully you like this video. And um, again, let me know in the comments if you have a favorite Ghostbusters game. Uh, I did, like I said, I did try to show as many, uh, a variety, a variety, sorry, I tried to show a variety of Ghostbuster games that are out there. And, um, I appreciate you as always watching because I know there's greater channels out there, believe me, and there's flashier channels and better, they have better, uh, better budgets than the dude on the couch. But, um, you know, this is what I like to do and, uh, hopefully you get something out of it. You find a game out of it or, you know, you're just like, Hey, I didn't know that existed. That's my goal, man. My goal is to just kind of show off games and gaming and, and just, you know, keep, keep that, that community positive for everyone. And yeah, I'm always just appreciative that people, people can watch with so many choices out there. So, and like I say, in every video now at the end, uh, we are all just looking for the next thing to play. So hopefully you found something in here that you're looking forward to playing that you, you know, that you saw in the video. And um, yeah, again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.